Oh shit. Oh shit. Why did I do that? Okay, there we go. Okay, for some reason, my computer was doing a freeze just before. But anyways, hello everyone and welcome back to some more killer frequency. I almost said frequency killer, but I mean, he is killing pretty fr frequently, so makes sense. Uh, I'm really excited to play more of this game. It's definitely a very interesting concept to it. Uh, and I'm getting really excited to see where it goes. So, what did we do last time? Last time, we figured out the janitor. Okay, head back down to the basement. That's right. The janitor to our radio place, we think is the whistle killer. Bob paper ball baskets. Listen, it's not about the, the aim. It's about the power. And I have power! Hi, Geronimo, how are you doing? You love this game? Hell yeah, I, I love it so far. This is my second time playing it. I was throwing a lot of balls too, Razzle. Let's just say my aim isn't the greatest. So we have to head back down towards the basement because we are suspicioso about who the killer is. Okay, anyways, I forget how to get to the basement. To this. There we go! Now we're going back! But also, how are you doing, Geronimo? And I'm glad you enjoyed this game. Because honestly, it's it's really refreshing to see. Honestly, just really, really, really refreshing to see. I love that it's a unique little twist on hor- Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I made it to the right room. So what do I need to grab? Hmm. A key. What do you mean a key? Is this always here? <gasps> I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. No, it was not! Well, that ain't good. I'm about to die, guys. Let's do a saucy little save. So, basement storage. Basement storage key. Um, is that there? I'm melting. No! Is it really hot for you? Yeah, it was really hot for me, too. Oh, yeah, it is this room. Uh, yeah, it was, like, boiling hot for me. That's cel- Wait, that's cel- Oh my god. I would literally die. I would perish right there on the spot. Oh! <gasps> that's... What is this? Hey, Forrest! Ah! Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. Oh, a tape. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down. A map of what? Looks mm. like it might be to somewhere Wait, where? Oh. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Can I play it here? Or do I have to go all the way up? Oh. Okay, I do- I can play it here. Get in there! Beep. George Barrow, That's well, hey, out of barter. Oh shit, I got two Texans in the chat right now. It's all yeehaw today. George Barrow? Also, how's the volume for everything? I did fiddle around with my mic settings a bit, so I hope it sounds a bit better. He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Uh-oh. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Yeah. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Wait, is this the intercom? Oh, okay, it is. So we need to find more tapes and all that. What's this? Oh. Is that this? No, that is not that. 
Okay. Let me just fiddle around with some settings. All right, is that a little bit better? I did move the mic down a little bit. Um, I don't know why, but my mic's been very odd lately. Well, it is a quiet part in the game, so like the game stuff makes sense, but... Thank you for letting me know. I hope um, this is a little bit better. Wait. Time of autopsy is seven oh. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so then the next one is that is very hard to see. But Probably down here. Hmm. What is this? Can't open that. Okay, so that looks like it's in some sort of storage space. What is that sound? Oh god. Oh god, I don't like this. Oh. Stop! Oh hey, there it is. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running useful. without stopping. Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews? Wait, can I read it? Okay, I can't. I forgot how to do that. At 4 a.m., a call was received from a jogger, a Miss Sandra Sharp, reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy boy's pa parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. Oh shit, I did not mean to pause. So apparently he said this is useful, so I guess we go back. I do want to pick up that photo though. Hey! Peggy! What have you found? Peggy! Peggy! It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? What? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on Wait, the Wait, what? I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't there. know. I mean, I just got here recently. Mm. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. What did it say? He drowned. Sounds like running, for his, running life. for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. The killer was after him. I'm not sure. The killer yet. was chasing him. Duh! The police report mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra, the jazz runner. Oh, right. that's right, the jazz, the, the, the jazz person. The reservoir. Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? There's no foliage. There's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. Oh my god! That's, that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. Yeah, that's not I time to break, Peggy! What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report Yes. Suggests. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. But why would they cover well, it up? Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been a visitor, could have asked him. And Sandra oh, it's interrupting it itself. Do you think you found everything for us? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? A fucking well, lot! If there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? 
That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay, well, there was a tape down in here anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah, right here. That is... Hello? I really don't like this. Oh. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol uh, indicating uh, stress in the immediate moments before, before death. Wait. Oh god, I hate this. Oh hi. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Post-mortem injury, it was trapped in a car door, huh? Oh god. Well. Ugh. What the fuck is this? Oh. There it is! It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for this has to be important. was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his, where head, he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. He was... What the fuck? Okay, so this is more... Or sorry, I made you do this, Virginia. So this is... The body of that... Kid. The deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18, by a cause of death is established to... No! To be drowning, as shown in signs of asphyxiation. For more details. Abrasions were found on the knuckles, likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known history of the deceased being aggressive. No other injuries were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there is no evidence of foul play. Additionally, the preliminary toxicology report indicates the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. It is of the coroner's opinion that the deceased went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. It is a hundred percent not an accident. That is too suspicious. That is way too sus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is way too sus to be an accident. If you're listening to this, then Wait, is this the officer oh, maybe? Yeah. Oh no, it's Clive! I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers. Oh? One after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. What? But I don't think we deserve killing. Is it to the anniversary of when that kid quote unquote drowned? Some folk from the worst. But I can I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. So Clive isn't the killer. What? Spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. 
The police are behind it, aren't they? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. It seems a little too suspect, if you ask me. Well, uh... Time to go back, but that is very suspect. Do you want to know if you're gonna miss a collectible or not? No, because I might go and replay this game. Huh. I probably will replay this game because it's very, very, very interesting. Peggy, you're not gonna believe this! What have you found, Forrest? There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. So they lied what? that he was drinking. But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. Ah! What does it say? According to that, no. it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. Oh, Jesus, okay. No. Half and the time there's no voice why. acting. There's a note. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on it was a cover up, report, obviously. Then Virginia must be our coroner. Yes. Well, the caller from earlier. When we had to call the team. <gasps> Virginia! Wasn't her name Virginia? Yes, with the we bros! We finished down here. It Luckily like she's alive! About what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Oh, yeah! There's mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer. Not well, a at least we have Virginia to call hmm. back, because we let her live. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Yeah! Unless he got it when the police collected his body? I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead. Well, yes. Where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on? The here? police are covering something up. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Yes. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. So they can't. To make sense now. They can't reveal the this, truth. This is a conspiracy to cover. Yeah, up obviously. I um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I oh yeah, that's right. Not for any killings, but. For playing a part and covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? True. We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. It's... I know. <laughs> Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. Oh! He said he to do good for oh! He fuck! He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save yes, them. Yes, Clive was trying oh, to save why them. Did he just come out with all of this. He can't. He said his I'll... employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. Ugh. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking oh, you man. those people. Oh, man. Thank you for the resub, Deadpool. You found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. What the fuck is happening? But also, hello, Deadpool. How are you doing? We are getting... Thank oh, God, you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. 
Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, I, I'm stressed really? too, buddy boy. How are we to keep a show going with all this happening? Beats me. Beats me. But we got Oh shit! I forgot to put on throw things. I'm sorry, Deadpool. <laughs> Give me a second. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, come on, open. But my computer is also kind of having a little bit of issues today, too. Let me get the throw things so you can throw things at me. <sighs> Give me a second. I'm letting it load. Wait, why isn't it not showing? Why is it not? What is happening? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you can throw things. Let me throw a few on me. Da, 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 Just for you. Hey, that's rude. <sighs> You're right. There we go. So, what's the plan now? I think... We should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get yeah. her on the line. Yeah. <laughs> turn the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is this Forrest Nash. What the scream? To the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. <laughs> Oh yeah, the frat guys, the frat bros. Sure, oh, man. It's goose. Goose. Goose, 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 goose. Where are you? Get your ass here. The party has moved. Oh, cool. Where's it moved to? This old lady's house. Oh, she's pretty cool though. She said we could raid her a liquor cabinet. Yeah, the liquor cabinet! Her. Of course, we're not drinking anymore. We're staying sharp in case that whistling turd turns back up. The old lady might need our help. Aw, Walker's cool. Of course. of course, man. Hey, did you put me on with the old lady? No, should check if it's cool. <laughs> Why is my voice? Oh, there's that goose respect we love. Goose. I'll grab her now. Uh, hello? Is this Goose? No. Uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, Dr. <laughs> Sullivan. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh. Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumping. I mean, understandable. Don't be Don't sorry. Be sorry. Been through a lot. I would I'm also so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought Good thing we kept her alive no then. We're not this we'll learn to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you. Oh no! But this will get her killed. If we ask hey, her. What would I know? Oh god. If we do this live on air, I think it'll just get her killed. Any guesses? Well, can you think of any reason why you'd have been targeted? No, I don't think so. All right. When you were attacked earlier. You mentioned a name. Clyde. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified for us. <sighs> I don't Clyde's think this is a good idea to do this live, though. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. Here I'm dead! Us. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? We have evidence. We found evidence to the contrary. But it's true. And we found your autopsy report. Oh, uh, I don't want to be doing Ow. this live. I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight. Yes. Which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I. All right. 
Oh god, here we go. We're getting closer to the truth. I came into work to find a a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports to falsify what, what I the found. fuck? Of course I said no. But well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. Oh. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. Dang, that's it's unfortunate, man. To treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. But also, and hi, Chris. How are you doing? me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment. Who the fuck if was his employer? Said, and that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. Oh man. You have to understand. She needed me. No, I understand. We understand. I understand completely. It's okay. Thank you, Virginia. And I'm doing good. God, I'm vibing. I just want this nightmare to Bro, end. Bro, me too, man. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. I feel like that's just gonna get her killed, though. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. Hmm. But for who? Yeah, Why exactly! Must be someone obviously Sandra high in power. We could have talked to her, too. Yeah. I'm sorry, my fault. All right, well, let's listen to music. It was shock Yeah. It was shocking how she did <laughs> mm. <gasps> Looks like we've got a call coming in. Nice. It was shocking. 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. I'm sorry. I am Boris. I know this is really Oh my oh, god, yeah. Ponty! But I wondered if you could say Yeah, by accident. <laughs> My uncle. Ponty. Now, oh, really? You want to do that now? Really? Why? Of course. I'm telling him to come by my Ponty's pizza. <laughs> I won't have a chance to do it again until next year. May as well, Forrest. It's uh, Ponty. Fine. What's his name? Thank you, Forrest. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. But he's Pepperoni. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God! <laughs> yes! Tell him Bondi! Bondi! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Stop calling us! God damn it, Peggy! This is your fault. My fault. Hey, don't I blame Peggy. Do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. I love Ponty. Uh, I love Ponty so we've much. We've got another caller on the line. Just pick it up, okay? What if Ponty is the whistle killer? That'd be hilarious. And he just comes this up and starts spouting about his deals. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air. Caller. <sighs> it's the guy that's trying to prank us. Ponty. Ponty, yeah. <laughs> I love Ponty. Forrest, are you okay? <sighs> He's so mad! <sighs> Forrest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest? No! Sorry, Sorry. that was... No! That was too Not Ponty! It's, okay. it's been a high-stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. No! Well, I'm gonna miss Ponty! Whenever you're ready. 
No, I want Ponty. I'm here to slice pizza and people. And I'm out of pizza. Well, we're in luck. I have pizza! I got pizza! I should take this call. Shut the fuck up! I'm talking about my pizza! I got pizza tonight. <laughs> Folks, don't spend your money at Ponty's Pizza. No, spend yes. your money. Spend your money on Ponty's Pizza. All I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The, the Scream. Ah! With me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song. Oh, Long yeah, Long. Don! Did you hear Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. With what? Are, are you in danger? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean. Yes, he's after me now. Yeah. Oh, he no! Me on the radio helping you. Helping? Right. Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was. Oh, fucked. no. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Uh, ask a neighbor? Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I oh, man. Yet. There's not even a buzzer here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the yeah. New let's let side apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Dog. Not a dog person. I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. Hell yeah, neighbor dude! Blast it! He's coming down the street. <laughs> I don't think he's seen me yet. Forrest, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. The security Wait, system what's name. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says... Starling Security 4000, there's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six-digit number. So six-digit number. Starling, huh? Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets- But then he's gonna That's hear cool. the code, too! Oh Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could- The logic! Come. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. All right, folks, here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Yeah, boy! You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me or was there something? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird. About yeah. yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. We do? I bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, a I'm maybe sure. like a manual, but to help someone. Okay. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling Four Thousand. That makes sense. Now, what about the? What if the twist is that? Frickin' what's her face? Okay, can't enter there. Clive has the paper somewhere. So it's probably in the janitorial, maybe? No. Could be in the basement. What if the real Kriller was inside me all along? Nice. You know, uh, maybe I'm the killer the whole time, and I this is a false memory. You never know. Ooh, video game. 
No! It's out of order! Damn it. So Clive has the paper somewhere. Wait. No, are we gonna have to run for the killer and use this radio at some point? Ah! Private. Locked. For now. Do not disturb. Ooh, cheese. Okay, so I'm assuming we go down in the basement area again. Hello? I wish I could kick over those cans. Oh, I really do not like those puppets. Okay, search for info on the Starling 4000 security system. Okay. Save that. I were a security system. Need a hand? Have we already... is this well that was the the way we got in okay i don't like that it's still open you no know? i feel like that's just easy access for the killer if i was a secure space you probably not want to buy me i won't work well i mean i guess I, if i were a security system i'd technically work because i just scream at Absolutely everything. Okay, that's the breakup thing. Hmm. I was a security system. Where would I be? Please stop putting stickers on office furniture. Oh, and the rest of value of everything. Okay. Not there. And then we can't go up there. Hmm. Not in the bathrooms. I really doubt it'd be in there. This flies? Hmm. What about in the this room? Beep. Can't open any of those. I would have found the security system stuff long ago though. Scream. That's a mouse trap. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Maybe it's outside, but that would make no sense. Maybe I go talk to Peggy to get her to try and help me. Found nothing! Help me! Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. Help me! Any ideas? Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside Apartments with the whistling man nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, the Starling 4000. Right. And we had the same security system delivered here. 
Clive was going to install it, so check the basement. I yeah, guess that's okay. where Clive would have stuff like that. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Don't take too long. Okay, so it is in the basement area. But first, I need to do a quick BRB. I got I gotta I gotta be right back. We're back. We're going back to the basement. I got Dr. Peeper. I got a peeper. A peeper. There was a lot of stuff in the basement. So it makes sense why we would go back there. This way. I was the security system. Where would I be? Hmm. I guess in these rooms then? Somewhere? Starling oh! user manual. Yeah. Ah. These codes should come in handy. Ah! Ah! We found it, guys. She's gonna live, hopefully. I would hate to take another victim. Cause I really, I think I've killed like four people by accident so far. And only I've saved three. So that's the entry code. Welcome back, Forrest. I Find fucking anything? did. Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing, except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dawn yeah! back on the line next, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. When you're ready, 
Shut the music off. All right, Line music's one, off. Whenever you're ready. Fax code, maintenance call code. Warning, this will set off security measures. Alarm test, so entry code is seven, one, five, nine, one, four. Done, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.6. The scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Uh, entry code. The code is 715-914. Thank you, Forrest. <laughs> Forrest. What? Did what? You do? I don't know! Actually, I guess we'll find out. Forrest, there's another call coming in. Evening caller. I knew it was so! what just happened. No! The Roller Ricky and Maxie! Oh! So, the whistling man is a woman? So Dawn's the whistling man. I, I, I know. I, I didn't murder Roller Ricky! She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I don't know. She seemed a bit odd, but, like, pretty normal as far as everyone else. I didn't put it together. What the fuck? I thought she was just regular. Ah! Really, Forrest? Yes! Why do you think she requested us? To get us outside! Wait, that totally makes sense! If it was her then. And also... Hi, Mr. Ammon! Thank you for the five biddies. I killed another person by accident. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. That's so, true. What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We <laughs> have new info. We got okay. a dog Kill killed! And you can make the announcement. We got a okay, dog killed! <laughs> oh, no. Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For I'm not going to, to prison! Call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. That Here's I'm a fucking idiot! We now believe the killer is actually a woman named One Dawn. Who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Oh no. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info no! on the killer. I'm not call the killer. Up. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light. Uh, hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. It's gonna be Dawn, isn't it? Laughing manically. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's He's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. 
What, what happened? Somebody's been stabbed. Can, can you tell me what happened? We've been out at the reservoir. We were reservoir? Place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden, he just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. It has and to be I, more I than one person, though. And hid in the bush. I oh, didn't no. stab a man! Forest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. They just stabbed him. Casey, was his attacker the whistling man? The who? They had a mask and wore all black. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the whistling man. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. Uh, I waited till they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. That's... I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but... What? Wait, he needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need an ambulance. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed oh, in the Oh shit, that's right! Bathroom. You should get all the info you can. What's your friend's What's name? What's your friend's name, Casey? Jason, the whistling man! No! Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's Wait, now. why is my knife Switch toggle to not two. working? I'll toggle it manually. Oh, God. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. And also, okay. that's jam! Hi, this is not blood! 189.16. We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. Oh, God. Know, please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him and we can't... How do I get him there? Right we don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right. Listen, we need to buy him time to get. Oh, we all have to do first aid. Blood first. Yeah. And then finding someone to stabilize him. Yeah. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Ah! I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> no! No! Chicken! No! All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Oh God. You can handle that. Uh. uh, 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 uh. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay. From the top. Make it drop. Bleeding out. <laughs> then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Okay. Lay him down. Lay him down. By continuous pressure directly. Well, yeah, I know that. Hands. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. And don't take and out the knife. That's the worst slowed. thing you can do. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? Yep. Object he was stabbed with is still Do not him. take it out. Don't take yeah, it I know out. that. I know it's that. The worst of the bleeding right now. Mm -hmm. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Yes. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense though. Yeah, because if you remove it, then <sighs> that was like a lot of info. It's not blocked. But I think we can handle this. I think I can handle so it, and I didn't even need her. What? What? There's more. Okay. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Okay, makes if sense. does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of okay. it. Okay. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Mm -hmm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Yeah, uh, you don't, don't want... Place bandages, elevate his legs, keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Oh, God. He's still on line one. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, Forrest, are you there? All right. Um, How is Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Okay. Okay. I need help. Get him comfortable. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. Put another cloth on top. To Put another cloth That's on good, top. Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in 
Where? Leave the knife! It's gotta be hell! No! Should I pull it out? Don't touch no, it! don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Yeah! Are you sure? Yes! I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason yes, through this. Yes! I got this! Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is Okay. Bleeding, leave the knife right. alone. I, I think we need to leave that knife alone. All right. Yeah, because the I'm worst thing you could do is take it out. Forrest, can I have a word? Uh, okay. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know oh, when the is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. All right, Go. buddy. Okay. I'll wait. Jason? Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. All right, what the fuck do you want, Peggy? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. But Dawn is still out there. What if other people- oh, yeah. Daddy, hi! Wait, is she- Probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's gotta get to the hospital well, somehow. Then we'll get somebody there! And he's- Could somebody help somebody nearby? nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Oh! Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. <laughs> did didn't we? I, yeah, producer mind. getaway to get so drunk! How does KFAM's first aid course help us? No, time Casey out said for they're me! 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. Okay. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. <gasps> Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and Oh, ask? we have I to go and find the numbers. list. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Yeah. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Reggie's office is locked. Naturally. Naturally, it's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Uh, have you ever heard the future is floppy? Wait, what? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Oh. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information. Oh, wait, yeah, this is it. Wait, you earlier. Put them on a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. Okay. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Yeah, I forgot it was set in 1980s. Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. Time to some new. and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I just have to look around. Wait, what do you mean there's still more to do? What are you? Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. People. Not getting in there tonight. Oh, where is Reggie's office? Where the fuck is Reggie's office? Downstairs? Probably. Where? I was a okay over here. Private. Not anymore, bitch. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Serial note taker. First aid to the injured. Clive. 
If it really exists, please insert floppy disk. Oh, there it is. Ah. Hell yeah, baby! Deep Could cuts. This be it? Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Free slice on me. Terrifyingly, there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe rank him as a final girl's boyfriend? Protagonist is college student Megan. Starting to follow. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant! <laughs> Amplifies the divide between her and the pizza killer. Takes place on 1107. Very important date for the town. Great goose gathering. Event where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. Try to link this info into the greater story. Need to kill off Megan's support network throughout to the movie. Like Act 3, but even scarier. Maybe partner with Ponty's Pizza for the launch? Okay, it's probably 11.07 then. Order just received a pizza cutter and tickets to the movie. Okay, so where's the- okay, the safe- so it's 11.07, I bet, because it's very important number. 11. Nice. Yeah! Very important date. Oh god. That is... A lot of floppy disks. Put his fan fiction back. <laughs> Alright, this is. Wait, this is me, so. We'll just keep that on the side, because we don't know first aid. Bradley. Bradley. Bradley! What the fuck was that? No, thank you. Anyways. Anyways, Bradley. Food critic. 31x down lane. Okay. When I hired Brad at our station's food critic, people said I was crazy. We only have three takeout places and, and, and a diner. What's the point? To them, I see you can't be afraid to explore the darkest reaches of unknown. Bradley and Barbara seem to be spending an awful lot of time together. Didn't I didn't realize she was so interested in Brett's work. Maybe I should just join one of their after work meetings sometime. I always wanted to learn more about food. They were doing more about they uh, they weren't learning about food. Brad and Barbara end up missing most of our first day training session. Brad made a joke about practicing mouth to mouth and Barbara got really upset and stormed off. The joke wasn't that bad. Okay, so he does not know first aid. Ah, hey! Stay open. Who's this? Peggy also doesn't know first aid, so I'll put that on the side. I still want to snoop a little bit. Karen. Alright, senior producer. 22 Nancy Drive. Really stepped up up to her duties in recent months had fully taken on Hamish's show alongside the Timberline twins ever since Wes left us. Hopefully she doesn't get any ideas about being paid double. Karen has started men started mentioning Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They all are even do building training getaways. Oh wait, yeah. Karen mentoring Peggy. Okay, yeah. So Karen is not an option because she's missed the first aid training too. So doesn't know first aid. So it's just what's this? Barbara, which is front desk lady, but it said she also missed. Everyone staff, everyone had a great feedback. Something going on her with the brat. I call it a hunch. Barbara got into another cat. No, got another cat recently. You know, she must have at least five now. Uh, Daisy, Murphy, Penelope, Freddy, and Lord Winston. Hell yeah! I'll need to monitor productivity going forward. The cat photos are a big distraction for the rest of the team. 
Barbara laughed when I told her about the the concept for my new horror script. I don't care what she thinks. Story about an alien egg at the center of the Earth set to hatch on February 30th is a great idea. Why else would we be we we avoid having a February 30th? But on Brad's disc, it said they missed a lot of the first aid training. So it must be this person then. John refused to engage with first aid trainer during the course. I know he was a war medic, but it was station. A war medic. Oh, he was a war medic. But it was station policy who sent everybody regardless. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military at the end of his service. Is that legal? Do I need to report him? Spoke to John again about eating the free samples that Brad gets sent for his reviews. He said he'd stop, but he said the last three times too. But un-American to reprimand a war vet? So he was a medic in the war, so technically he doesn't have the first aid training, but technically he does. So I think it's him. Because I'm pretty sure on Brad's, it said Barbara and Tim missed it. These other two are us, and we don't have training. Most of the first aid training session. They don't say it on Barbara's to try and fuck you over, I think. So... It's John. John Hedges is the only one. Other than Reggie himself. Reginald Scott. Reginald Scott or John Hedges. Also, I want to see what our ours says. Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm. I'm the well No. What are you doing? We don't have time for this. We have a man literally. Yeah, but I want to snoop. And you're more interested in you. Yeah, I'm more interested right, I'm in sorry. me. I need to focus on possible candidates. I actually got the force now. No. Okay, force doesn't really. Okay, fine. I guess I won't. So it's John Hedges because he was a war vet, or Reginald Scott, if that's an option. Wait, actually, where does where does he live? Because that's important. Fourteen Nancy Drive. Cause it was Nancy Drive, right? I'll find out. But it's either John or Reginald. I think it was Nancy Drive. Where's the reservoir? Nancy drives right there. Yeah, it's not too far then. Becky? Hello? I, I, I think I found. Okay, what's happening? I did work out the safe combination, huh? Wait, am I supposed to look at Peggy's too, then? I am so confused. Looks like I have to do a little bit more. Weird. Because I already know the combo. Very important date. I guess we also look at Peggy's then? Hey, 
Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Ah! Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my phone? <laughs> Right, I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I, I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. But like, I already know what the what candidate. Hey Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know I think what I to know call. Who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Yeah. Uh, good work. Who should I? Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, fuck. Please? Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. Oh, no. What's happening? What do I do? Did he boost earlier? He's going into shock. I think he's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? Adjust oh, God. It. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Rick, elevate wounds? Fuck. Well, what did she say? I believe it was elevate wounds, not legs. Casey, I need you to prop Jason up. We need to raise his wounds. Be strong for Jason. Casey, I need you to be, be strong. strong. Jason. Sit with him and reassure him that everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, okay? you don't want to panic okay. him. That's the worst you can do. I, I can't give him what he needs. Please, help. I can't lose him. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. Who was it? John, Brad, Barbara. No, none of those. It's John. You call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war. Yeah! Man. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. Yeah! Oh, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. Yes! Oh my god. Like hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five. Oh four, shit, okay. At two, least I don't have to zero, know. Seven, three, five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. What time is it? Three in John, the morning. It's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until. Ah, uh, somebody's kind of dying. Leave me a note like everybody else. Um. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. Come on! Whistling man, what kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I. I oh man. I haven't been called on for over ten years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at twenty-five. Oh, okay, thank drive. God I don't have I to remember he that. To stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Extent of his injuries? Stomach and leg. Told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach, yeah. and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll have Yes! I got the right person. Guys on my watch. 
Thank you, John. We'll let them know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. Oh, God. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. I he did find someone to help. I did find someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. Uh... Oh no. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. Thank we God! Thank God! Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's gonna be alright. Uh. <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Oh, thank God! Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. Well, I'm ready, baby! We saved another life, I think. Hopefully. I will shit my pants and cry if he dies. Good thing I told her to keep the knife in his leg, because that's the worst thing you can do with, like, a stab wound. If, like, the thing that you were stabbed with is still in your body, keep it in your body. Because it'll stop the bleeding. You'll like this next song. Ah! Sage! My late. knee! This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Oh, God. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. So this is my last break for the night. That hinting that the end of the game's coming up. Cause we do know who the whistle killer is. Ah! Okay, I'm ready. You got it. But we've got another call. I'm ready. Okay, for Sora, no! Okay, Sora, actually, I did kill. <laughs> I did accidentally kill other people, and I was so mad and upset about it! Because it was Roller Ricky! And his dog. His dog got killed. It was sad. It was really sad. Oh, shut the music off. Oh, we have another call coming in. But, hang on. Yeah, I'm What's gonna play it, it again at some point. Wait, what's wrong, Peggy? 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 You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Wait, what? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Peggy, is Peggy everything okay? To sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Bow, now, now. Hope you enjoyed this one as oh, much as I Oh, no. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself. Okay, on she one. sounds happy, so. Hello. Forest. <gasps> Leslie! Oh, to you. oh, thank God. It's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, yes! our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Oh, she's are gonna get okay? killed. We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back. Yes! We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, uh. we got back into the radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through. Yeah, you now. listened into how I killed, like, frickin' everybody. <laughs> it's been non stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet! Yes! I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards the Yes! Galaxy. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what, what That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines though. Oh dude. Do you think the whistling man Well yeah, no shit! I'm guessing so. <laughs> I don't know how he how she how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Oh boy. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. 
I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. Yeah. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. <laughs> oh, am I gonna lure the whistling man to spot? What do you need? You can count on us. What do you, what need? you need? It might be a long shot. We're gonna lure the whistling man here. Whistling yeah, whistling man woman. Called up a few times. The whistling man is she actually a woman. Again. We're still a little ways out of town. So if she calls, <gasps> stall her. Buy as much time as you can. Yeah! And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Yes! I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna probably get you all killed. Heck. I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Oh, thank Hopefully God. Next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Yes! We gotta go up for a beer, Leslie. We'll see you soon, Or Leslie. Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> oh, God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Yes, I agree. Are you ready? Shut the music off. Oh boy. <laughs> Boris Nash does a killer interview. Fucking love that. Thank Bring you for that, Sora. Now. Welcome back to the Scream with me, Forrest ah! Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. Why would it's we say over. that? But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Are we a fucking idiot or something? Oh yeah, things are looking up. Let's announce that. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Forrest? Casey, is that you? Oh, are Casey. You right? Forrest, it's Jason. <gasps> no! What about Jason? <laughs> Is he okay? He, he's gone. Oh, Jason. Your friends, they tried everything they could. They said he just lost too much blood. No. Casey, I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't believe he's gone. Could I have done but, more? Like, he did everything he could have done. Huh? He both did. How did he die? I'm sure Jason knows that. Thank you, Forrest. I really hope so. Is it hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call. Yeah, on the line. you don't fuck your grieving. Need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. It's all right, Peggy. I understand. Yeah, screw your grieving, I guess. Do what you need to do. Thank you, Casey. But like, I'll be right back. What else could I have done? Uh, Forrest? Yes, Casey? Before Jason passed out, I, I asked him who did this. Oh, probably and not. I think he Oh, yeah, this isn't avoidable. Yeah, he said it had to do with a boy named George Barrow. Yeah, I know that. He mentioned him, the boy who drowned. Yeah, he mentioned the boy I who drowned. That. That's what Jason said. He said that George died during... So Jason had something to do. Whistling night? Some kind of prank night. Oh. And the person who stabbed him wanted revenge for George. Well, that Jason, was obvious. Are you absolutely sure this is what Jason said? I knew it was revenge for George. It seemed pretty obvious said. once I figured did out you George say Jason was. Told you who the whistling man is. He did. He said it was a woman. They went to school together. Somebody called him. What? <laughs> what happened? Are we still on air? No, no, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. How do we get? No! Out? They're here! No, 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 no. Emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier. Yes, I did. Wait. What if? Oh wait, no. That would make no sense. Never mind. 
Uh, we are gonna save. And I am now going to die, guys. So... I know exactly where I need to go. But the whistling woman is here. Ugh. Start with an M. Oh no. Oh, the music! We're getting closer, guys! Oh. Oh no, is Peggy gonna get killed? Oh, it's in all this, isn't it? Ah! Huh. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? Far back. I can't see shit. Oh god, the whistling killer is gonna be in here. Aren't they? They're gonna be in here. They're gonna be in here and they're gonna tickle my ass. That must be it. Here we go, guys! Oh, we've got power. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Peggy? Peggy? Peggy! No, I knew it! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Peggy! Peggy, are you there? Are you... Peggy! I need to get back upstairs. No! Oh, I swear to god, if they got to Peggy, I'm good. What the fuck happened to that door over there? Ah! Okay, guys. Oh my god, this is so tense. I don't like this. Peggy? Hey! <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Wait, on air? They're holding Peggy hostage, aren't they? Oh god, yeah, they are. <gasps> no! Oh no. Wait, Peggy's not there! Peggy, where'd you go? <gasps> no! No way. No, 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 no! Oh god, was the killer Peggy this whole time? A, a call. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy? Patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. <laughs> it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the Wait, the police know then. What do you mean? What do you mean? Make the most of it happen. No! Well, Huh? Oh, I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Teddy? Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallo. Wait! Wait. That makes sense! Teddy. That makes sense! Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. I knew it had to be more than a few people. Well, That's Peggy! And who's here? Wait, then... That's Peggy, isn't it? Peggy's part of this! Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of 
of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Oh, your son? Your son? You mean you, like that, that he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. Teddy! Oh yeah, I didn't really say last name. Yeah, I knew that. Forrest. That made so that much sense. How you were always mm -hmm. able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you say Barrow? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. What the fuck? Where is this going? Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You. Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a Oh my god! Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. About what? You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I? Why should I help you? Why, why should I play any Why did you in kill this? all those people? Well, obviously justice. they had part in George, you but. This is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. Yeah, I, I assumed as much. George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... I said you speak... Oh my god! To. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Are you- are you serial? I mean, if you say so, I guess I'm going along with it. If you say so. Hey, you guys are right! It is a killer right. interview! <laughs> I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. Wait, only one? But what about Peggy? I don't care about Teddy, but what about Peggy? I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek and if I can find out where Marie is... <laughs> Stream with the radio. Yeah, Teddy. technically. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Oh, my God. Be honest, Teddy. Teddy. Be honest with me, or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here Oh, my Lord. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, hey, our first team party was coming. Oh up, God. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Uh, whistling night, right? I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. Because of their original whistling man. Me. Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just a night that Mooney went missing. But Whistling Night is what they'd call it later. Oh. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. First Whistling we Night? went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, oh my God. Jason, and George? Yeah, Jason was the one that was but killed George with the knife. Didn't come alone. He brought Marie. Yes. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. <laughs> Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left. Roller behind. Ricky! Wait. Ricky was there? Yeah, Roller Ricky! Roller Ricky? He was. And he was in on the whole thing. Oh, no. Is that true? Is that true, Teddy? Did you tell him? What? No, he... Uh, you two were as close.
close as anybody. I can't believe for a second you didn't tell him. Oh. Uh. But what if he didn't know? He and George would both be alive still. Hmm. What did the dog have to do with it? I know, right? Bitch, you killed a dog for why? Just, just a prank. How can you still say it was just a prank? If somebody oh, ended up on. killed. God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real. It's the role he wanted oh to Oh my play. god. It's just yeah, a prank, bro. This is... Derailed her for a bit. Enough about him. Oh, shit. I need to stall. I need to stall. I can't guess everything. Somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then... I don't know how he snuck up on me, but... The Whistling Man grabs me. I scream. And he starts... Laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. Uh, I can stall for time here. Oh, God. How do we. Okay, not who was it. What happened next, or how did you feel? How did you feel in that moment? I guess. I felt like. Because it'll. No, she'll talk about her feelings. I think that's how I can confused. stall. And... What happened next? Not who. Tell me what happened next. Recognized it was Chuck. Chuck. Oh, Rose. Chuck. It was the whistling man. Laughing away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. Uh, <laughs> George, wasn't so, it? What happened next? Nothing. It was just Teddy. Oh, it was just George a prank, bro. Fell off whistling point. <laughs> oh my god. Where were you? How do you know why'd he fall? Where were you? Where were you when it happened? I uh you pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him, god damn it! I just chased him up there and Oh, Backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If you can't say it's a joke if somebody died. He would have realized. Ugh. You bitch. No one's going to believe this. Uh, we're live on radio, bitch. Even if you didn't push him, I believe her. Then why cup? Why the cover up? She's lying. I feel why like this will up? stall. My future wasn't well, yeah, because he's back. trying to be like mayor or something. Like people like us are bred for bigger things. Like us? No, you aren't. And then governor. And then. Happened that night was tragic. Oh my god. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin What? A blip? George was a blip? Bro. He wasn't a blip. He wasn't a blip. Father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but you never found his body, Marie. I looked all night. Oh the shit! Found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runners. Wait, why she lied though? Guess we'll never learn why she lied now. Yeah. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. Just got himself into trouble. And I saw. I'm, oh man. I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister who's. Yeah, she I, I kind afford. of feel bad for Virginia. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even, even still, 
She should have told the truth. I did my part. Uh, I tried that's wrong, though. I, I even went to the newspaper, but no, that coward killed the story. But Maurice Russell is dead now. Uh, this you've been through hell. This has to stop. When will the killing end? When will the Yeah, I definitely end? need to play this again. When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to never started. Shouldn't have pushed my door down the cliff. Should have been punished. Oh boy, I feel I feel sorry for her though. Wait a sec. The football field. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! Oh my god. The gym and Gallows oh, hi! Hi, what's I up? I told you not to do that. Wait! <laughs> well! He's... I he's fucked up! Now, isn't he? I don't care, Teddy sucks. <laughs> I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. I fucked up. So. Marie? Where? Oh Peggy! Peggy! Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. What? And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my- What? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Casey, I got a call. Do you remember? Yes! Well, it was from Dawn. <gasps> she said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reason. Oh no! And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. What the fuck? see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop. Well, yeah, no shit. With me when we need you on the radio, and I just. I'm sorry. This has to be. That, a yeah, lot. that is a lot. I just. Oh god, 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 oh god,
Oh god. Oh no. What if I bash him in the head with this? No. Wait, where am I? Oh! Hot babe, Chad, Heather. Oh, this is all who died. Oh my god, that is a lot of people! That's all the people that got killed because of me! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people! That's a lot! Oh my god. That's at least more than two. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> I'll have to play this game again to get the good end. And you heal- I didn't kill the dog! Like, I don't understand why she killed the dog. That, like, made no sense. Or her sister! She's like, oh, sister, you didn't do anything. Our parents did. But they're already dead, so, I mean, I'll kill you in their place. It's like, what?! That is the stupidest shit ever! But, my goodness, that was actually a really good game. I very much enjoyed that. Uh, I'm probably going to play again at a later date and try and get the good endings and try and save more people because I the thing with me is I'm a little stupid and I panic under pressure so that was my main issue is I kept panicking uh, but this was a really good game I really enjoyed it despite us getting the bad end where everyone dies well, not everyone, but, like, most people. So, let's go find somebody to raid. Where, oh, where? Is there somebody to raid? You know what? Let's go raid a hero. We're playing some fork knife. Hero Senpai TV. So, we are gonna go send the raid over to Hero. So the rain message as always is eyeball rain, my emotes are subbed. If not, use whichever you see fit. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. MST. Uh, we are doing some Sea of Thieves with my VTuber sibling, actually, or soon to be VTuber sibling, Robin. Mage Robin VT, I think. VT Mage Robin, something like that. But tune in for some Sea of Thieves tomorrow then. Anyways. Bye for now, and let's go show Hero some love!